All right, there's barely a breeze. This little guy's turning. Maybe four miles per hour. Okay, so what's the alternator putting out at that speed? It's putting out around four volts. Okay, let's see what the output is. Just gonna move this over here. The output is 20, 20 volts. And I'm charging this um, 18 volt cell. So what's the charge state on that? I'll move this. Pick up on that. So we're at about 20 volts. If the wind drops so much the alternator is not turning at all, the power of the jewel thief stops. So that seems to be working. What's the power on the Let's see what the voltage is on the 9 volt? So the 9 volt is dropping a little, it's 8.27. Because we're pulling off of it. So at some point, if the wind dies, the alternator stops putting out at all. We'll stop drawing power off that 9 volt. So what is the output voltage? I'll show what the output voltage is. A little indicator lights. 207 volts. I actually definitely have it, but... If I'm not loading the batteries. So the fluorescence on slightly. So we'll go ahead and... Fluorescence out. And charge state on that 18 volt set here now is 21 and a half. All right, so this is a 24 volt battery. You can see this little indicator light shows the boost circuit is running. So I've disconnected the battery, and here's what the boost circuit does, minus the battery. I'm about to exceed my capacitor. All right, I, I had to hook it back up to the battery because my capacitors are good for 35 volts. Now if the wind's strong enough, this light will start to dim and we'll bypass this boost circuit and go straight from rectifiers to battery. And you can usually see that because it'll be a faster uptick on the voltage. There it's starting. You can see this start to flicker. Usually that's when it's bypassing. Yeah, it's bypassing right now. Every time it cuts out.